preoperative diagnosis of malignant hyperthermia depends heavily on a family history of a malignant hyperthermic episode or of some other unexplained anesthetic event. The presence of musculoskeletal abnormalities such as kyphoscoliosis or strabismus should warn the anesthetist that his patient might be susceptible to malignant hyperthermia. The presence of these abnormalities should indicate to the anesthetist that serum CPKs should be measured and if the index of suspicion is sufficiently high, a muscle biopsy should be performed. The muscle biopsy test involves the exposure of the muscle to caffeine and halothane. This test is performed at only a few centers in the United States. The procedure involves the dissection of the biopsied muscle into muscle fibers which are then attached to a force transducer and inserted into a muscle bath. The muscle is exposed to solutions of caffeine and caffeine and halothane and the tension generated in these stimulated muscles is measured. Here is a chart obtained from a test run on a biopsy which was concluded to be positive for malignant hyperthermia. Contracture and twitch tension in response to electrical stimulation are measured and recorded for later analysis. The muscle was first exposed to halothane in Krebs medium. Since no changes were observed, it was then exposed to incrementing concentrations of caffeine in the continued presence of halothane. Note that both twitch and contracture tension are monitored at high gain on the bottom trace and at lower gain in the upper trace. A change upward in the baseline indicated a contracture. A long vertical line shows increases in twitch tension. As the caffeine concentration is increased, one can observe the development of the contracture. Here at 0.5 millimolar caffeine, the baseline is increasing. As we increase the concentration of caffeine, there's an increase in contractor tension. And here at 2 millimolar caffeine, there's a marked increase in the baseline, indicating an increase in contractor tension. This procedure measured the sensitivity of the muscle to caffeine and halothane. Separately, the muscle sensitivity to caffeine alone is also measured. The contracture tension is then graphed against the caffeine concentration. The concentration of caffeine required to produce one gram of tension is noted. If this concentration is less than one millimolar, the muscle is considered to be positive with respect to malignant hyperthermia. Having determined those patients susceptible to malignant hyperthermia, we can now choose a safe anesthetic for them.